Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, sorry my voice is not doing good. <clears throat> we screamed too much yesterday. Uh, but uh, you know, there is a Muslim. He liked what his brother said to me yesterday. And he said he nailed it. So I decided to put the nail for everybody. So we'd love more. This is what happened yesterday. In the, in the Injil. Did Who Allah's, said that? Okay, okay. Did, hey, wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen. Uh, okay. Now you're going to move on to another topic. Let me answer. Find, you made a point. You made a point. Hold on, you stupid said, listen. How come you can find something never mentioned in the Quran to be found in the Old Testament, but you cannot find something mentioned in the Quran to be in the Gospel? Just like the birth of Jesus? What? The birth of Jesus? Is it in the Bible? What the birth of Jesus? Yes, it's in the Bible. Uh, he he spoke he spoke out of his mother's skull. Is it in the Bible? Oh no, this is well, that's another the, those are fairy tale we stories. We don't believe in them. Do your prophet really? Why are you changing topic? Why are you changing topic? I'm asking you. The Quran. Lily, Lily, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> like Jesus spoke in the cradle, Lily. <laughs> I just want to go and like you know in the morning have some coffee with you guys and laugh. We need we need some comedy. And by the way, I, I, I texted him, I said, call us so you can fix what you did yesterday. Because things get is going to get more hilarious. Lily? No, no, don't talk about Lily, please. Lily is, is a different person. <laughs> and you know you're an idiot. If uh, <clears throat> if Jesus spoke in the credo, that's mean that Jesus he never never received an inspiration. He did not receive delivery from Jibreel. How come Jesus, he spoke in the cradle, Muhammad took him 40 years, and after 40 years, he'd been squeezed three times. Really? Still, he don't understand why he is squeezed, and who is squeezing him? Then his wife, she take her to take him to the, her cousin, which is her, his father, and uh, Muhammad, and that guy who is not squeezed, he never saw this person. He said to him, this is Jibreel. <laughs> I think what happened, this Waraq Abu Nufal, he put Muhammad under the x-ray and he found the fingerprint of Jibreel on, over his, 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 his waist when he was squeezing him. <laughs> look, 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 don't you see the finger in your ass? Those are Jibreel squeezing. Mm. Lily. Oh, mention, well, now, now I am changing the we topic, We are talking right? about Muhammad <laughs> you, you in the, the Bible, Abdul. <laughs> so the Quran mentioned that Jesus is the only one who said, there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. There's no other person mentioned Muhammad to be coming except Jesus. Do you agree or not? Does Quran say that? Okay. Yes, the Quran says that in the chapter 61, verse number 6. Dude, you can't even understand. Listen to me. Does the Quran say that? That no prophet other than Jesus say that there what? will be a prophet coming whose name will be Ahmad. Uh -huh. You are adding words. Uh -huh. and? Yeah. Hello? Hello, yeah. Can What's you hear me? You? Okay. So the one who said that is Jesus. So where we should find that? In the gospel, correct? No. Who said that? Jesus said that. Not necessarily. <laughs> Not <laughs> Not necessarily, not, not necessarily, not necessarily, not necessarily. I think I, I, I make it go back too much. Hold on. Because this video is very long, so you want to click, you can move many minutes. Hold on. Not necessarily, not necessarily, not necessarily. Said that. Jesus said that. Not necessarily. Not said necessarily. So what the book will find it if Jesus said that, we will find that. <laughs> in the Quran, there is only one person, supposedly. His name is Isa, not Jesus. He said, there's a prophet who will come after me. His name is Ahmad. <laughs> we say to him, if there's other person, he said that. Besides Isa, he said, necessarily, not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> what necessarily? Then give me other person. Give me other person who do speak that there is a prophet, he will come after me, his name is Muhammad. Not necessarily. Hey Muslims, 
my 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 Skype is open. If there is any other person, not necessarily beside the Isa, he said uh, his name is Ahmed. <laughs> Not necessarily. I love it. <laughs> Mickey Mouse magazine? <laughs> no, uh, but, but who told you you can you have to find it anywhere? It does I'm say not that. Asking you what... Who told you you can find it anywhere? So you Abdul, how you found it in the book of Song of Song? And you're a prophet, he became sweet and lovely now. His name is lovely. As I know Muhammad, his name means the praised one. Suddenly he became sweet and lovely. Muhammad is so sweet, by the way. I mean, you you can eat him alive. <laughs> to find it now, I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, there's a saying for you as a Muslim, not for me, that Jesus said, there's a messenger will come after me, his name is Ahmed. Does it say that? Mm. Yes, it does. Okay. In which book that will be found, this is news? Which, Jesus uh, which version? King James. Abdul, don't, they want to be stupid. King James. You want to be stupid. <laughs> you see, the Muslims, because they are dummy like their prophet, they think when they say King James Version, this is a translation, you idiot. Do you think that Jesus, he spoke in English when he spoke to the people in Hebrew or Aramaic? You are dummy like your prophet. All those books are translation. King James Version. King James Version. And there's a Muslim in the in the comment section. He said, "This guy he nailed it in this moment." <laughs> you stupid idiot! That can be true if Jesus spoke in English, and there's many English versions. But you idiot! All the versions we speak of those are translations. So Yusuf Ali is a translation for the Quran, a version. And actually, if you read the translation of Muslim, you will find a huge difference between them. But the reality is, even your stupid prophet, he said, Allah, he gave me seven versions of the Quran. Seven. How many? Seven. Where are they? How many of them you print? How many of them you hide? Do you see it? You're a prophet. The Quran sent to me in seven moods? Like what the heck? It is mood. The prophet of Allah, in which mood now you are reading the Quran for me? I'm reading the Quran for you in a bad mood. <laughs> translation the Quran sent down in seven moods <laughs> seven what like seven what okay so Muhammad received the Quran in the mood when he's happy Allah said the Quran once when Muhammad in the mood of being horny what does that mean what do you mean seven moods moody moody yeah, not the Prime Minister of India <laughs> Oh boy, Oof. which version? We don't have seven moods. Why? Why the God of Isa did not give him the Injil in seven moods? Why the God of Musa did not send him the Torah in seven moods? Why Allah He sent to Muhammad in seven moods? <laughs> It is really hilarious. Oh boy. Uh, somebody is texting me. I, I hope that this is not ultimate fault. That is just for fun. <coughs> Let us go in. <coughs> oh boy. Come on, answer the Skype in this mood. Your Skype is not connecting. Oh boy. Mm, let's try again one more time. <coughs> Hello? Hello? 
How are you, Christian Prince? I'm fine, my friend. How are you doing? Good. My name is Muhammad. Ahlan, Muhammad. How are you? You had a fake. Thank you. Uh, I'm just wanted to let you know that I'm an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay. And and uh, you opened my eyes a lot before before I had already doubts, and I was like, no, maybe I'm just a kafir. Uh, doubting Allah and Muhammad and all of that and that fear that you have that mentions a lot the hadith and the Quran about hey if you ever question you're gonna go to hell and stuff like that you have the final warning now in your hands so don't question it is what prevents Muslim from knowing the actual truth because uh, if it's truth then if you question it then you can get to get the truth of it yeah and when you question it you get to the false part of it and you just proved it so many times which i loved it and i enjoyed it and i learned a lot from you and uh yeah so just wanted to say thank you sorry I, i'm not a muslim that will debate with you but uh, i just wanted to appreciate your work and uh, tell you all the good things that you have done for me and for my family in order for us to to know more about what cult we were into it, not the actual religion. And uh, that me and my wife ended up accepting Jesus in our dreams and a lot of experiences that we had. And there's no doubt that the truth is the truth. The truth is with Jesus and God and not with Muhammad and Allah. So I thank you a lot for that. I mean, for that, my friend and my brother now. So let me ask you. So uh, you are an Arab, right? From the way you speak yes, Arabic, I am. okay. Yes, so, I am. Did, did your, uh, uh, I mean, you, you know how to read Arabic, correct? Uh, I don't know much because I was born outside of the Middle East okay. from a very young age, and uh, I, I never learned a lot Arabic. But okay. I do speak it and hear it. Yeah, I understand. There's many, you know, like they did not learn the the actual Arabic, but they speak it in the, inside their houses. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I understand. But did that help you to? Uh, to find out the truth may, may be easier because you already, even if you don't know how to read good, um, did that help to, to make you reach and see that this is false religion? The, the, the main reason why I ended up knowing it's a false religion is when, when we decided to learn more the Quran and teach our kids because uh, we, we we're raising up children now and they're very young. So we wanted to know more about our Muhammad, Allah and stuff so we can be prepared to teach them properly. So when we were reading, a lot of ahadith started not making sense. And I told my wife, you know what, let's just put that aside because we don't know if they're true or not. Let's just focus on the Quran more and so we can teach them the truth. And then when my wife crosses uh, through a verse in the Quran that says that uh, the truth is... Uh, quotes actually the gospel of Matthew I think and it tells uh, Allah in the Quran that the gospel is true and the word of God cannot be changed and oh Muhammad if you don't believe that I'm Allah the God of Abraham then go to the people of the book and you can confirm it so I told my wife you know what then let's get a Bible and a Torah and just do it as a test so at the beginning a lot of similarities started showing up because Islam is a copy paste of uh, Christianity and then but along the way start showing up different uh, ideologies topics and perspective of how we see life how we see God how we see women how we see kids how we see family and stuff like that then I start doubting and then I said well I'm not gonna read anything anymore I'm just gonna believe in God for now and have that relationship with him to to let him show me what's the truth so a lot of prayings in my heart and asking God to show me, to guide me. And slowly, Jesus started showing up on my dreams multiple times, multiple occasions. He was talking to me. We were praying together. We were sitting together. So that slowly uh, started showing up the way until on my last dream, I died supposedly by a Muslim. A Muslim came and killed, killed me and he told me, oh, you're a kafir. So he killed me. And uh, when yeah. I was buried on, 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 on the grave, uh, God resurrected me and I extended my hand to my wife, telling her that Jesus is the way. So since that day that happened on August 20 this year, my heart has completely uh, 
changed. I got reborn again without the baptism, as though God baptized me in my own dreams. And since then, I have been involved in so much knowing why is Islam so much deceiving, what's going on, why people are not understanding the truth. And that's when I came across your channel. And since then, you're my friend at night. I just enjoy watching your videos at night to learn more about what's going on. And it keeps proving it right when you prove Muslims that they're wrong. And I think the main reason why they don't understand the truth other than they don't want to accept is the pride and the society that we come from. Because if my parents know what I did, they, they, they would never talk to me. My friends would perhaps kill me. So that is the main problem. And that is not religion anymore. That's a force of society to force you to do what they think is right without having the free will to actually choose to believe in God the way you want to believe in God. So that's my experience. Well, I'm so happy, <clears throat> so happy for you, my friend. And uh, uh, just a little question, which is, uh, let us say, your favorite topic I spoke of, which make you like see that this is really true, uh, you know, a crazy cult, you know? A the 72 thing. virgins. The 72 virgins. Okay. Yeah, but that, now, because but now, I never, know. I never knew that. I never knew that as well as much as when you explained it. I never knew. And then I told my wife, "Oh my God, I, w I was all my time thinking I'm going to heaven to have 72 virgins while I was using you all this life, having kids, having a relationship with you. Like the one flesh concept that comes from the Bible does not exist in the Bible. It's just multiple, you know, like." bananas and potatoes mm -hmm. and i never understood it that way until you spoke about it yeah and you know that's uh, not the, the 72 this is the lowest uh, number i don't know if you know that <clears throat> because the heaven of islam is a hundred devil and your numbers can go up to millions because every every woman you get you get with her 70 women and the 70 women they get 70 women which mean like one woman is a uh, is wife then 70 women, they call them Masifa, which means the one who, you know, play with her hair, dress her up. And then there is 70 other maids. So each one come with 70, 70, 70. And then, uh, depend on the rank you go to, you will have more and more women. So Islam, obviously, is speaking to our temptation, speaking to our belly, our private part, and doesn't speak to our brain or our heart. You know, because where is God here? I mean, why I'm, I'm in heaven now, heaven became a pimp house. So this is going to be from God, from sure. And I'm so happy for you. And I'm so happy that's your wife. Now she became a Christian and she became a believer. Good for you, my friend. Yeah. Anything yeah, else we you both experienced it. No, I just wanted to thank you very much. I will enjoy more of your contents. I just wanted to share my experience so more people will be encouraged to accept the truth as well. I mean to that. Let me do that. Thank you very okay. much for calling. Thank you. Thank you. We Muhammad. pray for everybody. Take care, my Thank brother. You, Stay safe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, I mean, I'm disappointed somehow because I thought I got somebody to get me busted. <laughs> it turned to be somebody who got Muhammad busted. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> But anyway, you know, Muhammad is a prophet, we have to admit. I mean, look, he received Quran in seven moods. I mean, you see, those things doesn't happen every day. They don't happen. There's no prophet in Islam. You see, Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets according to Muslims. And we ask them, can you count their names? They say, Allah knows best. <laughs> Okay, and then we find that only one prophet from all the 124,000 prophets, they received the Quran in seven moods. Do you think that Allah was in a bad mood when he sent one of the Quran, like bad mood, good mood, so-so mood, hot mood? What the heck is that? That is religion, my friend. This is, this is the truth here. Only prophet of Allah he received, like, ta -tum, ta -tum, this is a mood. Ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum, this is a different mood. Ta -da 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 -da, this is other mood. Because remember, Muhammad he received Quran in the sound of a bell. In the sound of what? Sound of a bell. So can we say that Muhammad received seven rings of, of, of the bell? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Be careful, brother. This is 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 this is
this is hadaif. This is not daif. This is sahih. No, it's daif. It's a sahih. It says here sahih. It says sahih there, but it's daif. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's a goat, even if she fly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. We will go right to exactly. Al Harith ibn Hisham say at Kalamathender. How did the revelation come to you, Prophet? He said, like the ringing of a bell. Like what the heck? Now we understand how the moods are. One mood was taradam taradam, the other one was taradam taradam, the third one was taradada taradada, and the third one was jungle bells, jungle bells. <laughs> and not only that, brother, the funny is that Muhammad he said that angels will not accompany somebody have a bell. So, how the angels they come to you with the sound of a bell? The angel brothers, they don't accompany a person who have a bell or a dog with them. Like, what? <laughs> oh boy. So, the angels will not accompany somebody have a bell with him but they will give you a quran in the sound of a bell it's like it makes sense makes sense let us go back to the priceless video you know so we can just continue our hilarious you know when we talk about the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh -huh. many of you would obviously know i'm just repeating it the knowledge of allah encompasses many aspects to show the greatness of allah exactly the knowledge of Allah compasses, compa what? I don't know how to say it. Sorry, my English is not good. Compasses many aspects. Like, like what? Like what? Here, your friend will help us. I'm asking you, in which book you Muslims approve, to make it simple for you, we can find this, that Jesus said, there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. Well, if you if you provide me with uh, the real Injil, I would really search okay. for it. Guys, he's not the King James. If you provide me with the real Injil, I can tell you, brother. I can tell you, brother. Can you provide me with the real Injil? <laughs> you know, you know the Muslims. The funny about them, uh, because when you say if you can provide me with the real Injil. Uh, this is not only showing us Islam is invalid and stupid because isn't it the Injil sent by Allah? And so why you don't ask Allah to provide you with the real Injil? As long as you don't like our Injil. Who is the one who sent down the Injil? So when the Muslim they say the Injil is corrupted, they are accusing their stupid God that he is a fufu, susu, and dudu. He have many moods as you know. And this person, Allah, he could not protect his Torah and his Injil. What a stupid God. So are you making accusation to us or you are making accusation to your God? Because when the Muslims they say the Injil is corrupt, they are talking about the Injil of Allah. Right? We have a Muslim here, his name is Hassan. He's saying, you kiss many cross all over the world so why it is a problem to kiss one stone in one location oh, okay that's a that is a genius question hassan i hope you did ask this question when you are in the awake mood because your prophet many things happened to him including going to jerusalem when he is not awake in the mood of awakeness let me show you how stupid what you just said you kiss many cross first of all this is not biblical nobody need to kiss anything Jesus did not kiss cross. Disciples never kiss cross. So you are speaking about what people do. You are being stupid. But the one who kissed the stone is your prophet. So can you explain to us why your prophet kissed the stone? I don't have to kiss any stone, any cross, anything. This is not biblical. This is not from the teaching of the Bible. And none of the disciples did that. So if people, because they love too much what Jesus did, supposedly he died, you know, according to our book, and according even to your book, he died in the cross. So they are showing respect, but this is not biblical, which means this is not what Jesus taught us. But this is what Muhammad taught you, and this is what Muhammad did, and this is why you follow him. Why Muhammad kissed the black stone? 
maybe at that time Muhammad was in stone mood <laughs> I am guessing that Muhammad was stoned when he kissed the black stone. And that is called the stoned mood. Because what, like, like a person said to me here, the stone came from heaven. Like, hold it, Abdul. So if a stone came from heaven, you kiss it? You strip it, idiot? Allah, he sent the donkey to Muhammad. His name is al Buraq. If we tie him up to the Kaaba, you will lick his ass? So what if, it, guys, the stone came from heaven? It was a meteor. You see, just to show you how pagan this cult is. The Arab before Islam, they always need a stone to worship. Read carefully. This is your hadith. This is your hadith, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. We used to worship stones. And when we found a better stone than the first one, we would throw the first one. This is your religion. Do you see it? Hmm. Do you see the stupidity, guys? This is where the black stone came from. They go in the desert, you find a better stone. The stones who come from like Mitor. There's stones, there's millions of stones in, in, in Mitor everywhere. Just uh, last week, there's a there's a news about a woman, she was saved from death because a Mitor stone fell into her roof and go through the roof and went in her pillow. Almost she died if she if the stone hit her. Shall we worship that stone? So this is what the Arab do. They worship stones, and Muhammad, he was stoned when he decided to kiss the stone, like the pagan Arab, because he is a pagan like all of them. And the proof in front of you. And if actually, if they could not even find a stone, look good for them, they will create a stone. They will bring a sheep milk. They will milk it over the dust. And look what they do. And they perform tawaf around it. This is Islam. They go around it. You see it? This is where tawaf is coming from. It's a pagan practice. Exists way before Islam. Hassan saying, so it is bad if, uh, when a uh, priest, he, they kiss the cross? No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Why it's bad? Because simply, if you are uh, kissing the cross, and your attention is to worship the cross, or let us say, uh, not to show respect for what Jesus did, uh, that would be something else. But however, this is not biblical and this is not from the Bible. This is tradition. But that does not make us pagan because if not Jesus died in the cross, nobody for us will care for this sign. As simple as that. Otherwise, uh, you know, we should have the cross from the beginning, from Adam, from Abraham. No. The cross... The meaning of the cross is what Jesus did for us. So because Jesus, he died in the cross, that the cross have a value for us. But Muhammad, he go around the stone. He kiss a stone and he lick a stone. And can you show me one place where Allah, he said to Muhammad, kiss the stone? A challenge for all the Muslims. Can you show me one place that the God of Muhammad said to him, kiss the black stone? I just told you that Jesus never said to us, kiss our cross. So if people do it, regardless if it's wrong or right, they are doing it not because of Jesus said do so. But when you kiss the black stone, your prophet did so. Now, did Allah say to Muhammad, kiss the black stone? Uh, Muhammad, two minutes each, I will debate you in a stone. We don't do two minutes each. I will give you ten minutes. I will give you 15. I will give you 10 hours. Call me. We don't play those games. Are you afraid from me talking and you talking? Call me and tell me about your stone. And you can tell me about stones in the Bible. Why we worship stones? 
false fiction religion the bible from the beginning says make no images of what is up in heaven or down on earth for the purpose of worship from the first pages of the bible your prophet is a stone kisser and i challenge anyone to tell me why he kiss it you don't have any answer you are just following a fraud and the fraud have followers my skype is open abdul uh, somebody sent me uh, uh saying that some see he challenges me some see uh, some see well let, well let some see if he is challenging me he know how to call me or give me your skype some see i will call you some see <laughs> all of them they challenge me <laughs> come to uh, come to speaker corner <laughs> this is my speaker corner <laughs> anyway uh, uh, Muhammad my Skype is open my friend uh, give us a call let us see how good you are all right and notice here that the Muslims in order this is what I notice about Muslims if you, if you say to, to, to Muslim Muhammad is pagan, he tried to prove to you that you are pagan too, you know. But by doing that, if he try, when he try, he just to prove that his, his prophet is pagan anyway. I mean, this is the stupidity. Okay, Mr. Ahmed, let me call you. the sound here until the answer answer Abdul answer <clears throat> what happened do you want to talk to me or are you playing games Hello. yes my friend go <laughs> ahead the guy. how are you uh, uh, finally after a while okay so what do you want to say to us about your prophet you kissing the black stone you are the same person who said you want to talk about the black stone correct can you hear me i do hear you okay first of all i want to uh, can we go to chapter 9 verse 31 can where, we go where to you said jesus was god well, you go, want to go back okay, to the first. Uh, no, first let us go and finish the stone. You are, you said to me you want to talk about a stone. No, I'm not. I'm, I didn't even talk in the chat. I was not talking about the chat. Oh, okay. So you are I, not the same person. Okay, sorry. I thought you are yeah. the person whose name is Okay, Muhammad. so now. So you so want now, to go about what? Chapter what? So now go to chapter 9, verse 31. Verse 31. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, okay. Okay. This is what I put it on the screen so people will see it. If you can close your door, please. Let your four wives go out. Hello? Are you there? Maybe he's kicking his four wives out. Hello? Hello? What happened? I hope his wife are not beating him because you know number one violence in the Middle East by the way like we say that the Quran says beat your wife in chapter 4 verse number 34 but what people do not know that most of Middle Eastern Muslim men get beaten by their wives especially in Egypt and Morocco you can search it on the internet number one domestic violence in the Middle East is women beating their husband and there is a reason for that Women in those countries are so big and men in those countries usually are so small. 
and this is what will happen especially if you have more than two one, one wife you know they can beat you easy so you will see always Muslim men go into the police station reporting violence domestic violence against them and beating them I hope he's okay let us hope I'm not joking you know by the way you can search it domestic violence in Morocco etc you know wife beating their husbands Women in Egypt, I'm not making fun of anyone, I'm just, this is how they are. I mean, they are so huge. And you will see the man, he's so tiny, it's like, like it's like he's a, like the, 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 the gift you buy when you, you stick it in your refrigerator. So for sure, if a fight happened, the guy, she will smash him. There are no match in size. So, Muhammad, Ahmed, what happened to you, my friend? He hang up. Let us call him again. I hope he's okay. Let us let us hope. I wish he told us his location so we can call the police and see if he's okay. Are you okay, my friend? What? Are you okay? Well, nothing happened. I don't know. I know you. 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 You went. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so you said to no, me, no, "Open." I'm fighting with my brother. Huh? Fighting with my brother. Just don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay, your brother. Okay. So uh, here we go. We have a chapter nine, verse number thirty-one. What do you want to talk about it? Okay, first of all, you said that uh, in this verse, uh, Jesus was God. Yes, I'm not saying he yes. was. I'm not saying oh, he yeah. was. I'm saying in this verse, it says that Jesus is God, not was. Yeah, Jesus is God. Okay. okay. Hmm. You need to learn some serious Arabic grammar, first of all. Do you know, uh, do you, you speak Arabic? Yeah, I know Arabic. Hello, 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 Hamdan, Shakhbarak. Alhamdulillah, okay. Uh, here. Good dami. Good dami. Oh, I want you to read word by word and translate as long as you speak Arabic and you are from the Gulf. Okay, okay. I will not read from the Quran because I memorized all of the Quran. Okay. So let's continue to the. But verse. can you do me a favor, Muhammad? Nicely and, you know, friendly. Can you translate word by word? Yeah. Okay, so you read, a, you read a word in Arabic and you say this is what it means. And I'm actually, I have a website here, an Islamic website in front of me. When we put. The mouse in the top of it, the, the the verse here will show the meaning in English and will even say it, if you don't mind. And you tell me if you agree with that. Okay, first of all, uh, we read the verse. Okay, read the verse. Go ahead. So, uh, let's read. Hey, don't, don't sing for me. Don't sing for me. No, 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 no. no. Don't, don't sing. I'm not, I did not call you to sing for me songs. Read the verse. Read. No, no, no. We no, no. I would hang up on you. I don't. I, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm, this is. This is not your. This is not a stupid Islamic TV to sing for us the Quran, which is a stupid thing. Why you are singing it? Can't you read it? Can't you read it? Yeah, yeah. We can. Okay. Just okay. Read it. Simply. At least you know. Lend some respect. No. I. No. First. I, no. First. 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 You are calling me. You are calling me. And this is. This is not American Idol. This is not American Idol to sing for me. It the kadu ahmarahum warahubanahum. Why you are singing? I said to you, read it. Why you are singing it? No, here this is our program. You wanna you wanna agree to read it? Fine. You don't want you wanna you wanna sing sing to yourself. Go to the bathroom and sing. My friend, you wanna you do you wanna okay? Do you want to read it or not? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You're the one wasting time and crying about me singing. Don't sing because this is not American Idol show. Anyways, it's it's up to is uh. It's your call, so I'm, I'm just going to read. Okay. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم اتخذوا is فعل ورهبان أربابهم ورهبانهم is فاعل don't, don't, don't tell me in Arabic. Tell me I'm in, in, you, in, English, in English. In English. In English. No, say, okay, different. say it. Our audience. <laughs> our our audience. Say, Abdul, listen. Our audience, they speak English and you know that, correct? And you speak English. So I want you to translate the meaning. Yeah, don't, who will don't translate? Tell me, don't tell me that. about the grammar now. Don't play the grammar game. Your God have no grammar. Yeah. We can prove it in, in two seconds. Now, I want you to no, translate word by word. I want you to translate word by word. Go ahead. 
look, look. look, you, look. In Arabic, are you going to you know, read and Arabic, translate? Are you going if, to read and the translate? Has different so no, you, okay. So now you will try to play the game. Oh, we have a grammar, and the grammar is saying so. But the, so the chapter says something, and the grammar says something else. Well, no, no. Look. No, First of no, all, look, no, look, no. let me, let me analyze, let me, let me speak, because okay, you on. cannot understand if you don't let me speak, are if you, you keep on ranting, and, and don't let others speak, are you, you won't get the to point you the see, guys say. I'm saying. challenging you to read and translate word by word, why, why is, why this is harmful for you? What is the problem? I'm not, okay, you want me to translate word by word? Yes, go ahead. They took their monks and scholars as gods. Besides Allah and also Jesus, well, Messiah. Thank you. Because it okay. says, no, okay. wait, wait, wait. Okay, stop. hold on, hold Let's on. No, no, just focus Let's on this sentence, here. guys. So, if they, Allah hold, on, that hold, Jesus on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, wait, wait. Did you hear the truth? Uh, let me speak. Uh, let I will let you speak. First. I will let you speak. I want to make a comment. Just a second. Did you hear it? They took their monks, their, you know, their monks and their rabbis and their monks as God. Instead of Allah and the Messiah, thank you very much. No, no, and the Messiah, Gallak, and the Messiah, you cannot say that because and well, well Messiah, it's it ends with haraka al mafthuha. First of all, your Quran, first of all, 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 it needs to be first of all, your Quran, your Quran never have haraka. This is something add later. Your Quran does not even have dots. This is something add but later. The people memorize so, the way. Okay, no problem. You Your memorize it. Which way? Which way? So you your have, argument is stupid have because seven the way. people okay. know how to read okay. the verse. Okay, hold on, hold on. They know how to this read is, sound you by are a person. sound, okay, this verse is, by verse, this is the by hold haraka. Hold on, hold on. This is the recitation according to Hafs, correct? Yes. Recite according to Warsh. I don't know Warsh. You, you don't want Warsh. But is yeah, it, I, I don't guys, know. I didn't memorize. Hold on, I don't know. Hold on. I only have. Did, uh, did you just say you do not? Did, did you just say you do not know Warsh? I know Warsh. I know the. Uh, I know the recitation Warsh, but I don't know how to recite it in Warsh because I didn't learn Warsh. Okay, so like, use you, your mind. So you are, you use okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But isn't it your prophet? He said that my people they cannot understand the Quran unless they knew the seven recitation. Unless they have seven recitation, yes or no? Yes, but okay. in this verse is uh, cl so, crystal clear. Okay, hold on. So, guys, this verse is so clear. But only this verse is a crystal clear. The the, the Muhammad, his prophet, he this did, did Muhammad say? Okay, oh, there, no need hold to, on, no hold need on. To you see, you just you just, just get your you just get your prophet bring busted. If your prophet bring said, other, my other pay, my people, they cannot understand the Quran unless they know seven Quran. Correct or no? You said yes. And now you said, said okay, so how now okay, this one is okay. so clear I'm, for you? I'm challenging you right now in front of the audience to bring me the seven recitation of this ayah. Now, bring it me. You are asking me? Six I, of I am them. the one who is asking you. Right I'm the one who is asking you. You are the Muslim. Eyes. You are the Muslim who say it's preserved and you are asking the Christian to bring you the seven recitation? Yeah, yeah, you said the, the other recitation, it says uh, Kasra. No, I'm not Bring saying anything. I'm saying, so do you know? You. I'm saying, okay, I'm saying do you know them? I'm argument. saying, do you know them? This seven okay. recitations. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you, I Muslim? Did, I didn't did make a claim. Do Wait, you, hold on. I didn't make Muslims, the claim that I know. Do you Muslims, do you Muslims have seven recitation now? No, yeah, we have recitations. No, we have yeah? What, no, yeah. We have, what do you mean, uh, no, yeah? What do, what do you mean, no, yeah? Yes, we have that. I'm, now I'm talking about the verse. Why are you going no, no. running away I'm, from uh, the topic? No, we like are not running away. Bring, see, go back to you, the topic, okay, my we guy. We are in the topic. So when your prophet, he said, you will not understand the Quran unless you know and you have the seven this? recitation. I, I, I so I what ask you, I ask you, do you know Warsh? You said no. This is one of them. I did not ask you about the rest. So you do not know the rest, and now you decide that this is the correct one because it's clear. Now let us go back to the, back to the okay, verse. Okay, bring me let us one. Go, let one us go other, back to the verse. Bring me other riwayat that says. Let us listen, the, listen. Uh, let us go. Uh, let us go. To, uh, let us go back to the. Let us go back. Let us go to the. I want this riwayat. I want it now Abdul, in my eyes. Abdul, Abdul. Or else your argument is demolished. Abdul. So let's go back to the verse. Why are you calling me Abdul, ya Jesus? Isn't is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Your bring Quran? me. Bring me. Isn't it? Your Quran calling you Abdullah. Isn't the, Quran, the isn't the Quran calling you Abdullah? So you're Abdul. Yeah, I'm Abdullah. Call me Abdullah. What Abdul? Abdul also, doesn't okay, make sense. Okay, hold on. Uh, guys, don't call me Abdul. Call me Abdullah. 
I will show you Sheikh calling me and giving me example. There's two guys. One his name is uh, uh, is Muhammad. The other one his name is Abdul. So Muslim they use this name always. How come you get insulted? Abdul. Yeah. You guys using it in an insulting way. Because the, be the actual ah, name. So you part. felt you are insulted. Why are you running away wrong. from the topic? It is you yeah, who Habib, you talk about Abdul the now. Best, you, it is you who go talk about Abdul. Don't so be look scared, what happened. Okay. So listen. Let us make it clear. We, we, are, we are in uh, the verse. Uh, uh, Abdul. Stories, Abdul. Man. We are in the verse. So you are the one who agreed that it says in Arabic in front of us. They took their monks and their rabbis as God beside Allah and the Messiah. And you agree. I said. And also the Messiah, according to the other verse, the scholars and monks, and also the Messiah. Okay, where is the word also? Okay, in, in, front, hold on, in front of everybody, said. show me the word also. Brother, look, it's Mansub. First of all, it you, is you Mansub. are being hypocrite. Habib, it's you are being, you are it's being Mansub. hypocrite. It's, you cannot call a Christian a brother. You cannot call, being. let me school you. You cannot call a Christian person a brother. You are a hypocrite. Secondly, I said, show me the word Brother also. Brother in humanity anyways. I said so, to you, I said to uh, you, show me. Yes, because your prophet, he forbid you from taking us even as a friend. So how you can call me brother? I didn't and, take you as a Quran friend. And the Quran says, wa inna mal mu'minuna ukhwa. Wa inna mal mu'minuna ukhwa. You do not know your Quran, you are ignorant. So only believers are brothers. I know the Quran. Uh, ya Rajul, don't, don't talk about other topics. So Just listen, stick okay, you are the one. Away. Okay, now I'm asking you, where is the word also in the verse? The also it is it is indicated it's Mansub. Indicated, you know Arabic, Ram, what no, indicated? Say, Here, I'm, I'm asking you. Don't you Muslim? You say this is a clear Arabic Quran. I am asking you in front of everybody. Where is the word also in the verse? After Allah, there is also or there is and. Mansub bihi. The main this Muslim is not the question. Muslim. After the Quran, after Allah, the word is what? The mere, is, the is, the okay, is it what? Or it is also. I already answered. The main mustasir. It's the and the and the alama. So look what you, look what you are saying. Look, you know, for, first of all, for, first of all, Abdul. First of all, Abdul. Listen. If you know Arabic the, grammar, who is the one? Who is the one? Who is the one? Hold on, hold on, Abdul. Everybody will laugh now at you. Who is the first one who put the grammar uh, the of the Arabic? Your who fans, is, who the is the first one? Said everybody will laugh at me. I don't care if everybody laughs at no me. No problem. Your I, fans I, I care. I like it. I'm asking you. Listen, who, the who is the, the one Arabic. who put the grammar in Arabic? Yes. Yes. Well, I repeat again. Who is the one, the first one who established something called the grammar in Arabic? Um, someone gave, someone named Al Aswad. I don't remember his first name. Al Duhali. Al -Duhali. Al -Duhali. You, are, you are ignorant. Yeah, Al Duhali. And he is a Persian, correct? Yes. Okay. So a Persian guy, he made grammar long after the Quran. Correct. Grammar that he he made the harakat so that people no, no, can no. read it. No, no, no. I ask you, I ask you, who is the one who made the grammar? You said you said his name. Now it is harakat. <laughs> no, no, wait. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you are new. You, look you how funny, but you're not your answering God. my question. Look, look how, look, look how you're ignorant your God. My so, your God, he used a wrong language saying they took their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. And now you try to fix it. Wait, saying, wait, wait, oh, wait. Look, on. look. There's a guy, there's a, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, he came wait, wait, after look, Muhammad, look, after Islam, after Allah. Why are you not letting me talk? Why are you running I'm away? I'm letting you talk away. because, you, you're because running you're away, escaping. I am not running away, you are in a way. I ask you, I challenge you, where is the word also? You refuse to show it to me, go ahead. I already tell you, Domain Mustasir. What does that mean? That means it's hidden. Guys, it's you hidden. The, the word also the is, is, is hidden. Uh, be my witness. The word, the word also is hidden. Yeah, and we have the proof. <laughs> well, you know, the proof. The proof. <laughs> It's hidden, it's hidden. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, You're hold funny, on, hold right. on. Look, you see? Okay. Learn first, learn. Okay. Look, I'm, 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 I'm learning, I'm learning. So, did, you, did you just say, my, my, Abdul, Abdul, listen. And whom is jam'a mudhakkar salim? Mudhakkar, mudhakkar. Hal anta mudhakkar, jam'a mudhakkar in salim? <laughs> I mean, the noon is maftuha, and whom is jam'a mudhakkar salim? What we learn from you? Well, Masiha, it is ending with, 
Fatha, which means three of them are Mansur. It's in the word Fatha. It's in the word Fatha. So it is, so it is hidden. My, okay, okay Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, let, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, that's the proof. I, I will not repeat it again. Okay, now, no, no, okay please. The argument please, okay, don't the, repeat. If okay, you want to you. rant, 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 Okay. Okay, okay, no, khalas, khalas. Listen, I will go with you. So... You are saying that also is hidden. Everybody heard you. This is a great answer. I love it. I, I want to make a topic about actually. So the word also is not there. It is hidden. Thank you. Now let us go to the Messiah. The Messiah who the Christian they worship as God. Is he Allah or he is the son of Allah in the Quran? Both according to your beliefs yeah. that Jesus was son of God and God. No, I don't this, know how. But this is not, the, but this is not the question. No, I, no. First of all, there is a huge difference between saying that Jesus is Son of God and God, but we don't say that Jesus is the Father. Again, again, I repeat, uh, I didn't hear the question. We don't say that the Messiah is the person who is the Father. We have a three, we believe in Trinity, which is one God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father yes. is, is not God the Son. Did you get it? Yeah, we know. I know. Okay. I know that so, the Son is not the Father, and okay, the Son so is how, not the Holy so, Spirit. And uh, the Holy Spirit okay, so let me repeat the Quran for you. As long as you know, so it look like you know more than your God. So how come Allah? I didn't say that. What? Well, well, I, I I don't look like that. First of all, God is all knowing. He knows more than two of us. Okay, so we cannot see. say let, that we know let, more let than God. See. Okay, let us see. That this is why Allah He hidden all the world also. He knows because He knows. Yeah, because you okay. know. It's a blasphemy. You know, it's in a Arabic blasphemy. Language, uh, Listen. Uh, the, it's a the, the speakers, my friend, it's a blasphemy indeed. Are those who say that Allah is the Christ? Yes. Okay. It's blasphemy. But it's blasphemy does, but to does our, the Quran? But does the Quran? Our okay. is blasphemy. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's blasphemy according so, to Muslims. So the Christian yes. they say the Messiah is Allah. You agree the Quran saying that? Yeah, you guys take the Jesus Christ as God. But we don't. We, but we don't. We don't say that because Allah is not a word meaning God. It is the name of a person. Correct. Allah is the true God, the okay. one is God. Is it a name? This is another it's, question. That's Abdul, the meaning focus of Allah. With me. Focus with me. Even I, I have well, coffee. If you I don't say have Allah is the name of a this, God, this is not the question. You're, you're this is not the question. Let us not talk in the same time, please. Listen. God Listen, as Allah. Listen, so Muhammad. So you cannot say that Allah is a. What's, what's your name? God. What's your name, Muhammad Ahmad? What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad, this is Muhammad. This is another question. Focus with me, please. We don't, we don't want to shout. I'm losing. Yesterday I spoke for eight hours. So please, yeah, I only have three minutes left. Okay. So okay. I has to up. Uh, okay. So is Allah is a name of your God or is just a word mean God? Allah is the real God of this Moses. Is another question. Abraham, this is another question, the... my friend. This is another question. Focus with me. Is Allah is a name of a, your God or it's just a word mean God? Allah, the meaning of it is the true God, the creator and everything. This is not everything. the question. That this is not the question. Is Allah a name of your God? This is the name, the personal name of Allah, of your God, or is just the word mean God? The God, the powerful God. This is not the question. God. Abdul, focus yeah, with this me. Yeah, this is what it's This is what no, is the meaning. No, the is it God. a name? Yeah. I'm asking you, is it a name or just a word mean God? Is it a name? Name, 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 name. What's wrong with you? Is it a name or is just a word mean God? The word mean God, yes. This is the meaning. So it's not a name. It's not a name. It's not a That's name. A so why you name. so why you Muslim you say Shahada and you say there's no God but Allah? Because if if the Allah word, is hold the, on, shut the up. meaning so of hold Allah, hold is the truth. This is not the question. This is not the question. You are, God, you are a hypocrite God. and you do not know your religion because I can show you right I know, now. I know. I can you show you. I can show you. you, know. you, you, you don't even know the difference between Majrur and Mansur. You can't show you. You cannot tell me about religion because you don't even know the meaning. Shut up. The difference between Majrur and Mansur. Liar. Listen. Listen. I can show you right now a thousand fatwas from your country saying that Allah is a unique name. Of our God, it's a name. It's not a word mean God. Why you are lying? Yeah, I'm telling you the true God, the powerful God. I'm this telling you. This is another question. This is another question. Now. I ask you. It's is the it, God, the real it, God, is it, the true I, God. What's That's wrong with the meaning of Allah. Did you drink Amalurin before you call me? I asked you. Is that a word mean God or it is a name of your God? It you is said, a specific. Yeah, yeah, Rajul. Yeah, Rajul. It is a specific <laughs> name for true God. See, the it's a specific God name. Combined. 
Guys, did you hear it? In the beginning, he said it's just a word mean God. Now it's a specific name for a specific God. So That's now we I get the answer. So said. we have to repeat the question to Abdul a million it's... times so he can get it because they are slow. Thank you. Now, as long as Allah is a name of a specific God, so how the Messiah, he is called by the Christian Allah. In the same time, he is the son of Allah because Allah is a specific name of a specific God. So if they say he is Allah, they are saying that he is just the same person. His name once is the name of the Messiah and the other time his name is Allah. But the Christian don't believe in such a garbage. We don't believe in such a thing. So your God made a poo poo who claiming that the Christians say that he is Allah in one place and they say he is the son of Allah in one place. But you just say that Allah is a name of a specific person. That person is the God of the Abdul. So how he is Allah, how he is Allah. That's as if it's a God that, that you know, that, that created everything. <laughs> that is the God who created everything. <laughs> take care, take care. <laughs> Because if I keep talking to you, I will lose my voice in two minutes. Unbelievable. It's the, the name of the creator. What does this have to do with my topic? Is it the, 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 he's the one who created everything. Did I ask you about who, who created everything, who did not? What those people eat? So, the chapter 9, verse number 31 we ask him, where is the word also? He said, it is hidden. Where? It is hidden. Ah, we need to look for it under the dust. And who knows what is under the dust, save Allah, Ibn Abbas said, when he said there's 4,000 cracks of a spring, and then the top of it, there's a bowl. In the top of the bowl, there is a whale. In the top of the whale, there is an earth. We ask him how this stupid mistake happened. Because when you say that the Christians say he is Allah, and Allah is a name of a unique person, he is the God of the Abdul. And then you say that the Christian, they say he is the son of that person. So imagine I say that this is this guy Muhammad, he is a son of Ali. And he is Ali. What? How? What? Stupidity is amazing. But anyway, thank you for helping us because now there's people, they will copy the videos and they will show that that word also is hidden. I like it when it's hidden. I used to play like hide and seek with Allah when I was a kid and it never catch me. It is hidden. That's a lot of hidden. Your God, he think the Trinity is Mary, Jesus and Allah. And your God is confused because now if Jesus, he is Allah, according to Trinity, then we don't have Trinity. We have only two left. We have just Mary, which is stupid to say, and Jesus, which is Allah, according to what are your God saying. Potato, 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 potato. I like to learn the skin. I like to dip it in. I like to have them to free. We fry them without oil. Trust me, we never use oil here. This is why they are crispy. This is why it's very crispy. Man. So look what happened here. And the Jews say, Uzair. Who is this Uzair? I challenge any Abdul above in Allah palace or down his chair to show us where the Uzair is coming from. Do you remember Mimi Hijab when he said to uh, David Wood, not a single Jew believe that God have a son. Like what the heck? Not a single Jew. But because David Wood, he's not good in debate. So like he got an opportunity to whip the floor with him. You should say to him, you stupid idiot. You just get your prophet busted. Not a single Jew. When Muhammad, he say in his Quran that all the Jew, he did not say a Jew says, he says the Jews. 
He did not say a Christian say, he said the Christians. But what you can do, not everybody knows how to debate. Why did you block me in my in your Skype? Uh, well, you can make a new name because usually I block kids. Maybe you are a kid. I will give you a chance again. Make a new name in Skype. It's free. And, and uh, text me. I will call you. I, you know, I, I block two kinds of people. Muslim kids who never answer a question, who change topic every second, make me scream too much. Uh, or Muslim girls asking me how you look like. Like here we go, there's a guy, he said, when your face would go viral. Well, he's a guy, not a girl, supposedly. Yesterday, a Muslim guy, he called live on air and he asked to marry me. Uh, Muslims, Alhamdulillah. Right? So, uh, they, are, they are in love. <laughs> One of the funniest uh, uh, I received from a Muslim woman, she said, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Like, what the heck? What What does that mean? That's too much hate. I felt like, and I, I felt like, you know what? I'm like, I'm really scared. I get terrified. Like, when they threaten me, they will kill me, I laugh. But when they say to me, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, so what if your veins is sexy? I say like, oh, what, man, that's that's too much. I better go home. Abdulur Radwan. Let us see Abdulur Radwan. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. You're Hi, alive you on here, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, Are you understand? Sure, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I saw you were talking to a friend, uh, Mohammed. He just left right now. Okay. And you are like dragging about Abdu, Abdu, Abdu. What's, what's really hard in Abdu? What's the meaning of Abdu? You know, the servant? It's you... the servant of God, right? That's servant of God, right? Okay, so why you get upset if I call you Abdul? Why you get upset then? <laughs> you say what? Why you, why you Muslim? Why you get upset if the Abdul means the servant of God? No, I don't get upset. I'm just wondering okay, so why. Okay, so can you tell him? Can you tell him you should not be upset because he is not insulting you. He is just calling you servant of God. Correct. I mean, uh, the reason, the thing is that he should also call you that you also an Abdul. Does he? No, I'm not Abdul. I don't. I don't serve Allah. Abdul because I have to do connected to the name of Allah. Abdullah. I'm not Abdullah. Oh, okay. So the meaning of Abdul is just a servant of Allah, right? Yeah. A servant of what? Exactly. Whatever Allah. you believe in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, Allah. But, 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 okay. Of Allah? Hmm. Oh, but sometimes you can just call someone Abdul without putting Allah. It's, it's something, it's normal. No, this is a this is a word Muslim use. You can go right now, search and go, go Abdul. You will find a million Muslim names. Their real name is Abdul. Their real name is not okay. like a, a nickname. It is a real name Muslim they use in their names. Now, my friend, you call but, me for what reason? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, the reason is that uh, even uh, the Bible called, you know, all the believers of Jesus to be servants of God. Mm. Okay. Uh, have you seen that before? No, no, I'm learning from you. Go ahead. Can you, can you open Romans chapter 6? Okay, read for me Romans chapter 6. Go ahead. Verse 16, he said, Know ye not that to whom ye use yourself servant to mm. obey his servant, Mm. Ye to whom you obey, if you obey Jesus, whether of your sin unto death, okay. or of obedience unto righteousness. But 17 said, But God be thanked that ye were the servant of sin, mm. but ye have obeyed from the heart okay. the form of doctrine which was delivered you. Now 18, being then made free from sin, if mm. you free from sin, ye become the servant of righteousness, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, are you a servant of righteousness or a sinner of righteousness? Yeah, but there's a huge difference between a servant and a slave. Because yeah. Abdul is a slave, not a servant. Okay, now let me finish. Verse 19. Okay. I speak after the manner of men, okay. because it's the infirmity of your flesh. Okay. For as ye have yielded your members servant of uncleanliness unto equity, iniquity unto iniquity, even so now you your member servant to okay. righteousness unto holiness okay. for when ye were the servant of sin mm. you were free from righteousness mm. you see that sure. so if you are to if you okay now 
but how be made? Let's go to verse 21. Mm -hmm. What fruit what fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye mm -hmm. are now ashamed for the end of those things in that? But now be made from sin, be made free from sin, hmm. and become servant to God. Okay. And what, what will you say about that? So or I'm, I'm serving God right now. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So are you a servant of God? No, you are. See, you don't even understand your religion because the word Abdullah, Abid, Abid, mean a black slave, literally. Abid, mean no, a black no, no, slave. No, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. There's what? nothing like black in Abdullah. Okay. Abid, Abid, any, no, Abid no, no. is no, no. Abdullah. Two words. It's two no, no, words. No, no. Is, a, is a no, no, Abd no, no. and Allah. Abid is a black and slave. No, no. They don't do okay. that. Okay. Do you want to go to dictionary? Do you want to? Do you, do you speak Arabic? No, do, you speak, do you speak Arabic? No. Do you speak Arabic? Hold do you want me to on. open dictionary for you? Okay. Okay. Accepted. Is black black servant right? Hmm. Black servant. No, no. Right. The original word. Oh, the word no. Abid. The word Abid by itself means okay. I mean black slave, and he is a black. As an example, okay, Bilal, okay. Bilal, okay. Kana, Kana black. Abdun min Abidi Muhammad. He was of a black course. slave. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. Abdullah, accept it, accept it. Abdullah is the slave okay, of Allah. Mean, Doesn't mean necessarily is... black. Now, why? Because supposedly okay. anyone, any, like okay. this is like you humble yourself to the bomb. So you say, okay. I am even equal to a black slave in the front of Allah. Okay. So Islam is a racist religion. Considering hold that on, the lowest on, is to be black and to be slave. On, hold on. Christian Prince, calm down. You just I'm said calm. Abdullah means a black slave of Allah, right? No, I said right? the word That's... Abid, you are you are deaf like your Abid. prophet. I said the okay. word Abid alone mean black. Uh -huh. Black okay. slave. Okay. Okay. And... That's it. Black safe, right? Okay. Abdul mean black safe, right? Uh -huh. Okay, now this Bible now said, but now be made free from sin. Hmm. What you does have to do with my topic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's very important. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay. But now be made free from sin. Okay. And become, are you still a sinner or you've been free from sin? Well, you know, uh, you're trying to change the topic and you are being, no, 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 no. You are no, being no, no, Abdul now. You are no, being no, Abdul. No, no, no. The I'm Bible says, the Bible, the Bible no. says, the Bible says that we are sir, sir, simply okay. when we follow okay. God, when we are righteous. Okay. And we are do okay. what he asks us for, and when we give the fruit okay. of God, okay. and then we right. quit from being slaves or servants right. of, of of sin, then we okay. are free of sin. Very simple. Okay. So if yeah, we very if, simple. Now we are saying, yeah, okay. yeah, we are saying so, the same thing. But now hold you on, can hold see on. that. So the Bible okay. teach righteousness and absolute okay. to be free from sin, to fight it as much uh -huh. as you know. In the same time, the Quran. Okay. In the same time, as don't you are quoting this? As in the same time, the Quran encourage you to do sin. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Mm. There is no one free from sin. Even the way you're talking, you seem no, to some there is someone Hold free on. from sin Hold and you on. are and you are ignorant. Isn't it chapter 19, okay. verse number 19 okay. in the Quran say that Jesus okay. is holy? Does it okay. say does it say that Jesus is holy? Chapter 19, verse number 19. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, hold on. Mm. We still we still need to understand it. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to. No, no, cross. no. I'm, I'm not, not here having, to insult. We are having a dialogue. You, you said you, know, said, you, you love, said you I, said there's no one is free from sin. Did you say that? Okay, hold on. Let me talk. Okay, mm. me and you, if you call the prophet of God to be holy, I'm not doubting anything about that. What? Because the prophet no, of God. No, your prophet of God is not holy. The Quran witness for that. Your prophet is a sinner. Okay, okay, accepted, accepted. What now, you said um, that? No, what you, you did not say that. You said as, first in the as, beginning, you are contradicting you yourself. You said, I have I'm no doubt that the prophet of God is holy. Can you show me okay. where in the Quran it says that your prophet is holy? Okay, hold on. We are going there. I want you to explain more to the no, people. No, don't explain. That give me a reference. And no, 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 no. Hold on. Before you explain, give me a reference. You're making a speeches, my friend. Hold I don't on. like I don't like his speeches. Hold on, Mr. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. So okay. you say okay. I don't have a doubt that the prophet of God is holy. Did you say that or I'm lying? Okay, now did you believe in the Quran? This is your book. I'm showing. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about I'm your saying, book. So I'm because saying. you say, Abdul, listen carefully. Oh, I don't believe in the okay. Quran. I'm asking you okay. from the Quran because you are okay. the one who believe in the Quran. So in order to okay. prove a point about what you believe, okay. you have to quote for me the Quran. If I want to prove okay. a point against you, I will use your book against you, not my okay. book, because my thank book you. is not bad for you. So I'm asking you, you when you said to hey, me you. that I have okay. no doubt that the prophet of God is holy. Do you have a proof okay. of that? Okay, thank you. Uh, my question again, 
Did you believe in the Quran or not? Yes I or don't. no? That's it. <laughs> you don't. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Then why are you claiming the word in the Quran to back up your point with Jesus? Because this is against you. You know, when you go to the court, okay. I, am, I am a person who have degrees in law. Listen carefully. Okay. So when you go to okay. the court, I will show them a check signed by you, not a check signed by me to prove that you okay. are have to pay me money. So you are being foolish again. So I have to use your book because this is a book approved by you against your stupid belief. So if I show okay. you a different book, you will say to me, this is Mickey Mouse. I don't believe in it. If I show you a book made by Trump, are you going to accept it? No. So I'm okay. showing you, I'm showing you what your Quran okay. is saying. So you said that the prophet of God, he, you have no doubt that he is not a sinner. Can you prove okay, that? Okay, now, now, hold on. What if you see in the Bible that Jesus is also don't a sinner? Change the topic. Don't change the topic. The Quran Bro, says that Muhammad is a sinner. It. Hold Quran on. says, oh no, don't, don't find I just said, on you. Either you, want to I just said adult, either you want to speak as an adult or okay. don't talk to me. So listen, hold on. I guess, I just said, on, hold on. The, listen carefully and I will ask you a question. And please, uh, after that, I will, I will stop talking so you can answer. But focus with me. Chapter 48, verse number two says, May Allah forgive your sin. Speaking about Muhammad. Is Muhammad a sinner or not? Continue, you're talking. Continue, you're talking. I'm okay. ready. Well, obviously, you are just a kid. Get lost. Continue talking. Coward. Continue talking. I have to repeat the question to each one of those Abdul a thousand times. And they will not answer. It's an embarrassment. I have no doubt that the prophet of God is holy. Where you got that? You don't want to answer. They throw their poo poo in the park. You see, in America, when you walk a, 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 a dog with you, you have to clean his poop. Otherwise, you will get a, you know, a fine from the police. Every one of them who call me, he just threw his poop and he don't want to touch his poop. He is the one who make it and then he cry for it. Your religion is so clear in this point. Muhammad is a big time sinner and not only that, his sin is not even forgiven. May Allah forgive your sin. Well, who's the who's talking? Who's talking? We have Mr. Musa trying to call it. Let's see, Mr. Musa. Maybe he can do better. Oh, you hang up on me. All right, let's see someone else. Hmm, Looks like we are out of customers. <laughs> Okay, okay. And then he started reading for me that in the Bible you are servant. There's a huge difference between servant and slave. And not only that, I don't mind to be a slave of God. But the stupid you, you get offended for calling you by a name is called by your God to you. If a Muslim said that to them that word, they will not be offended. But just because I am the one saying it, they will, you know, they will deny it. But they call themselves Abdul every day. If I go right now and type the word Abdul in Google search, you will find millions of Muslims. Their name, their real name is Abdul. Literally. I just searched for uh, in in you know in Google Abdul Karim Abdul. Do you see it? <laughs> Look like this guy is famous. This is a famous Abdul. <laughs> How many Abdul there is? Look at this Abdul. Now, is your prophet is holy? No, he's not. Is Jesus is holy? The Quran confirmed yes. Not only he is a holy, he is the holy son. Son of who? If you want to say to me, he is a holy son of Mary, but Mary, she did not have a son yet. So he's called son of who? Because Mary, she will have a son, but she don't have a son. 
and Mary she have a son later, yet he is holy still. But we heard this Abdul saying that there is, are you free of sin? Are you, there is, there is nobody is not a sinner. And then when the second we say is the prophet, he says, yeah, I have no doubt that prophet is holy. Uh, no, your prophet is not holy. And not only that, this is a proof, this verse here, proof that the one who wrote the Quran, he is not your God, if he exists. Because if Allah is your God, and he decide to forgive his sin, which means the sin of Muhammad, he will not say, may Allah forgive your sin. Who is talking? Who is asking Allah to forgive the sin of who? Allah is saying to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. What kind of religion this religion is? If you Muslim believe that the, the, in the oneness of God, then Allah asking Allah to forgive sin of Muhammad, and he is not sure in the past and in the future, it's a wish. Now remember carefully, the word may is the same as the word maybe. May. Why it is a wish, not a command? If the one is speaking is God, God don't make a wish to himself. Do you Muslim believe in Trinity? So I can say, okay, maybe the son saying to the father, no. I can let it go. But you don't believe in Trinity. So Allah is saying to who? Who is the one saying that Allah may forgive your sin? Stupid book. This is cannot be from God, obviously. Christians, did Jesus say to a person, your sin is forgiven? Did he say that in the Bible? He did. So why he did not say, may your Lord forgive your sin? Any Muslim can answer? Your sin is forgiven. He is not making a wish. He is not asking other God. Even though the Christian, they believe in the Trinity, so it's possible that the Son speak to the Father. If you go to Luke chapter 7, you will see Jesus said, Your son, your sin is forgiven. That's it, you have the authority to forgive sin. And the Quran says, who can forgive sin save Allah? Who can forgive sin save Allah? And yet the Abdul, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Do you see the stupidity? When we say stupidity is amazing, you know, uh, we have a reason to say that. No one forgives sin save God. Why that? Because supposedly all the sin you do, you do against God. Not against angels, not against prophets, not against even your parents. Even if you commit a crime against your parents, your sin still is against God. Because it's God who told you, don't do that. All of those in the front of us, saying that Allah is the one who forgives sin. But there is a specific verse in chapter 3, verse 136, says, And who is the one who forgives sin except Allah? Nobody. Nobody.
Actually, this verse here is connecting to the other verse, which is 135. And who is the one who forgives sin? Who can forgive sin except Allah? So if Allah, the one only one, can forgive sin, so how Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin to Allah. And how Jesus, in the same time, he say, go and your sin is forgiven. The answer is very simple. The Messiah is the true God. Muhammad, his God, is a scam. This is Muhammad making a verse saying that, okay, I am very filthy, I do a lot of things, but Allah will give me an open license for sin. And imagine here, he is not saying to him, forgive your sin in the past, the sin in the past and in the future. You see the Muslim, they have videos saying that the Pope, he used the church, they used to give a letter for the rich people to, uh, to, to, uh, like, uh, uh, to go and for, to forgive your sin. This is new Quran, and that is a lie. Past and future. If I have now a license of past and future sin to be forgiven, I will live sin forever, because it's forgiven. When Allah he spoiled his prophet Muhammad, how he spoiled him? Literally, he spoiled him. Spoiled means damage by saying to him, your sin, now and in the future, may Allah forgive thee. Proving to us two things, that Allah is not God because he is making wish to other God, his name is Allah. And the other thing is, he is damaging his prophet by giving him an opportunity to say, don't worry about whatever sin you do, in the past or in the future. Why do, do you think that Jesus is going to be the judge in the end of the time? This is the, the question. You see, the one who forgives sin, obviously he is the one who can let you go. Or he let you go to prison. <laughs> you just answer yourself. Why Jesus, guys, he, you, why do you think he will go and be the judge in the end of the time? Because he is the only judge. Judge is God. No one can judge you for your sin, save God. Even the Siri Quran says, and who can forgive sin, save Allah? Based on what? Based that the Muslim believe that Allah is God, so he is the only one who have authority to forgive sin. Muhammad don't have it. Did you I say, did I say to you, just 15 minutes ago, when you commit sin, you commit it against God. Therefore, the only one can really forgive your sin is the one you commit sin against, for he owned the right against you. You understand? This is why only God can forgive your sin. So when Jesus says, go on, your sin is forgiven, and then the Jews, they said to him, or said to himself, Who's what this guy is talking about? He is forgiving sin? Who he think he is? If you go to Matthew chapter 9, Jesus said to them, verse number 5, which one is easier? To say, your sin is forgiven, or to say, you know, carry your chair and walk. The person don't, cannot walk. Talk is cheap. I can say, go and your sin is forgiven too. You can do that. So Jesus is a person who proved that he has power over sin. And he is the true God. For not only he said, your sin is forgiven, and that will make us think he is God. Because anyone can say that. Even the fraud Muhammad can say that. But he said to the Jews, which one is easier? To say your sin is forgiven or to say, 
carry your bed you are disabled person who cannot walk and walk and not only that the Quran says that Jesus he knew the unseen and this is proven in the Quran in chapter 9 in Matthew Jesus he knew their thought they are not even speaking he is reading their mind and Jesus knowing their th thought said wherefore think you evil in your heart they are thinking in their heart. They did not speak with their mouth. Still, Jesus can hear them. For whether it's easier to say, These sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. And now if we compare between this and this, Allah saying to Muhammad, May Allah forgive your sin. Jesus for sure forgive the sin of the person and he have the power even over his body, his flesh, his health. He said to him, carry your bed and walk. The person for the moment, he carry his bed and he walk. If you watch Zach and Nick, why Jesus, they ask him, why Jesus have too much miracle? He said, but then sister, in the time of Jesus, Prophet did repeat of him. It was an advanced time of medicine. And because it is that time of medicine, so Jesus was given the miracle of healing. Look, medicine, what medicine? Why Jesus was giving them drugs? Like what? Like Jesus, he gave the blind man two aspirin and he told him take it three times a day? What medicine? So 600 years before Muhammad, medicine was advanced more than 600 years after Muhammad? I mean, do you see how stupid this cult is? Because in the time of Jesus, medicine was advanced. Jesus, he can't do those things. What the heck? What medicine? 600 years before Muhammad, medicine was advanced more than 600 years after Muhammad? Do you see why I say stupidity is amazing? If you like our videos, don't forget to give it a like. And if you don't like it, don't forget to give it a dislike. I appreciate that. You know, YouTube, they like to see uh, which, uh, you know, if, if, if this channel is really have a great uh, impact in community and then they will start suggest the channel to others and the whole purpose of what we do as you see is to show the muslims we don't hate the muslims we will never hate them remember that don't hate them they are naive they are following a cult this is what jesus spoke about blind leading the blind blind leading the blind We will go about, uh, back a little bit to the Abdul, uh, Mr. Exactly, because our topic had the title of Exactly. Let us let us do Exactly time. Okay, he said, if you provide me with a real Injil, I will accept it. I provide you with a real Injil. The Quran says that Allah, he confirmed what is with us. Is that true or are we making things up? Yeah, yeah, it's true. But, okay. but, 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 but before you cut me, before me, you uh -huh. cut me, what the verse actually says it, what can, what is confirmed before us and what came after it. And we know that the Quran does not fully agree mm -hmm. with the Bible. Many places okay. it just disagree with the Bible. For example, the mm -hmm. crucifixion, for example, the divinity of Jesus. So it does not fully confirm the Bible. Okay, guys, it, he don't confirm fully. Okay, let me ask you. So do the, do the Quran confirm fully the Torah or don't confirm fully the Torah? Don't confirm. Okay, so when your prophet, he took an oath on the Torah saying, I believe in yes. you and the one who sent yes. you, he was yes. swearing the Torah line? Uh, no, no, no. He was swearing the Torah, right? He was swearing by the Torah? Yeah. Okay, but you just said... Allah, he don't confirm all the Torah. Exactly. Okay, so how Muhammad, he swear by the Torah? 
because prophet peace be upon him always spoke positively so he has no reason to say no no i do not believe in this thing. Oh, so no, he was course, you are, so you are saying he was lying to the jews no if you if you if you come with a torah to me and say do you believe in this book i will say yes i do what's wrong but, but a second ago you said no did i say no yes i said, I, I I said to you fully. do you accept all the torah you said no all the <laughs> <laughs> this is how they do poo poo. I advise you when you call me, you wrap yourself with a big diaper because your poo poo is getting bigger and bigger. So if you can provide me with a real book, I will confirm it. Can you provide me with a real book? Okay, your Quran says we be, you know, we confirm what is with them. You're a prophet, he took oath on the Torah. Exactly. Actually, if you know how many times exactly he would say he would die laughing. All did I say okay. I accept all the, the Torah? The Jews they brought the whole Torah for him, they brought the whole book. And actually, exactly. Exactly. exactly, exactly. So he asked them, bring me the Torah. They brought the whole Torah, they did not bring a page, they bring the Torah. He put it in a cushion. Okay. He put his hand on okay. it, they, and he said, "Shut up!" Okay. And he said, "I swear by thee and the one who sent thee." So you're a prophet, is a hypocrite man. He swear by a book. He don't believe in it. Okay. Did the did did the Jews tell him that uh, swear by every single page and you? Abdul, they did not say ask that him to believe swear. in every it's single word written. Idiot. It. They did not even ask him what? to swear. Exactly. Voluntarily, voluntarily he and said, what did he swear? Shut up, shut what, up, shut what up. What are the words? Shut up. What are the words of the prophet? He said, I believe in thee, which means the book is underneath of his hand. Exactly. The uh, book. Exactly. Not everything in the it. Book the book which is under his hand. Exactly. The book. Uh -huh. The Torah. The which, book. Which book? The whole Torah, which is with the Jews, correct? Exactly. So does it mean you have to hey, hey prophet? Exactly. How are you doing? He is he's trying to buy time to think, you know, when he say exactly, he didn't know what to say. So yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Are you like are you aware of what you are saying, you idiot? They put the whole book under his hand. And he swear by the whole book, and then he said to me, Exactly. <laughs> exactly, 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 exactly. I want to make a poetry about exactly. Exactly, he was a dumb. Exactly, he said yum. Exactly, his poop. Exactly, is not. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what I would say, hold on. Exactly, not uh, as uh, of the sum. You know, like some other poop. You know, exactly, 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 exactly. It was a competition of exactly they. The prophet taking oath in a book exactly and this book he don't believe in it exactly believe in this thing. oh so no, he was course, lying. You are... so you are saying he was lying to the jews no if you if you if you come with a torah to me and say do you believe in this book i will say yes i do <laughs> what's wrong but, but a second ago you said no did i say no yes i said, I, I I said to you fully... do you accept all the torah you said no all the all did I say okay. I accept all the, the Torah? The Jews they brought the whole Torah for him, they brought the whole book. And actually, exactly. Muhammad, exactly, exactly, exactly. So he asked them, Bring me the Torah. They brought the whole Torah, they did not bring a page, they bring the Torah. He put it in a cushion, okay. He put his hand on okay. it, they, and he said, Shut up, okay. And he said, I swear by thee. And I love it when this Christian prince he says, Shut up, unbelievable, so cute. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know this guy he is so fast with this setup. I mean, like they cannot even keep their mouth shut. Think, think before you talk, Abdul. Think. You know, they rush trying to defend desperately. And because they are desperate to defend, they say all those stupid things and then we die laughing at them. Like the one who called us before, he started singing the Quran for me. Like, what's wrong with you? We have to fight to make him just read it. He is calling to read, not calling to sing. But I will tell you why he was singing, because he cannot recite the verse without singing, singing it, because this is how we memorize it. Then he have to go and open the book in order to say it if he is not reciting. So the recitation of the Quran, the Muslims, they were trying to copy the Aramaic Christians who they recite the Bible by 
heart singing it. All of what Muhammad have is a copy of the Aramaic Christians. You see the Quran verse? Did Allah said Muhammad verse number two, verse number two? No, they copy as the Bible had. There's a chapter, there's verses, even they call it a verse. That was a copy from the Bible. Our book have a chapters, have names. Muslims, they are trying to make a book similar to the Bible. So they copy everything. They have made a chapter. Where is no chapter in the Quran? What chapter? Where is the word chapter is coming from? Any Muslim can tell me? But anyway, exactly. The one who sent thee. So you're a prophet is a hypocrite man. He swear by a book, he don't believe in it. Okay, did the did, did the Jews tell him that uh, swear by every single page and you Abdul, did they not say ask that him you to believe swear. in every single page? Guys, did you see the answer? Did the Zeus say to him, swear by every single base? Did you see the stupidity? How they try to protect their stupid prophet? If you put your hand over a book, are you swearing by a page? And you say, I believe in thee. Are you swearing, I believe in one big page? You see the stupidity? They are so different. And remember, the Torah, especially the old Torah, it was not really a book with pages. It's a scroll. They rule it up. What? And even Muhammad did not even know what is underneath of his hand because simply it is in Hebrew. So how he swear by it? What if they brought you a yellow pages book in different language? So when he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, he was exactly hypocrite. They did not even ask him what? to swear. Exactly. But clearly, exactly. but clearly he and said, what did he swear? Shut up, shut what, up, shut what up. Are the words, shut up. What are the words of the prophet? He said, I believe in thee, which means the book is underneath of his hand. Exactly. The uh, book. Uh, not everything in the it. The book which is under his hand. Exactly. The book. Uh -huh. The Torah. Exactly. The book. Which, which book? The whole Torah, which is with the Jews, correct? Exactly. So does it mean you have to you say, exactly it, agree it, with you every single page in it? Come, but you said your God don't come from the whole Torah. Exactly. 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 <laughs> exactly. Are you stupid or what? So if the Quran does not confirm all the Torah and the Torah no, is full you are. and the Torah is full of lies, how your <laughs> false prophet he put his hand saying, I believe in thee and the one who said Exactly. Me. Was the Torah sent by, uh, according to Muslims, was the Torah oh, sent no, by no. God? I, I get upset okay. now. He did not say exactly. I, 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 come on. I don't, I, don't, I don't like this. I mean, come on. You missed the point here. You should say exactly. I'm really disappointed. I thought like you would say now exactly, and you did not say exactly. Because I'm going to make a prize to ask the people how many exactly he just said until now so you can get a free ticket to Afghanistan one way I know a friend is very lucky so he went to an airline uh, uh, like uh, uh, occasion and they said today everyone here he will win an airplane ticket for somewhere no one the guy he said I my luck is very bad I'm not going to go so, you know, they convinced him to go and said, no way, because they said everyone would win. It's not about bad luck. You will have a ticket for sure. He went there. He went a free ticket to Afghanistan. Exactly. Exactly. Is that coming from bros? Lee. Lee. Lou. Who is you? We have a Muslim, his name is Hazan. You are calling Allah now. Look, Allah. Huh? What happened to Allah?
Let us call him again. Oh boy, Allah is not having not good internet. But look what he said, Mr. Allah, who texted me. He said, you said Allah come down. What is the problem with that? Look, what the heck? You put me in the corner. What I'm going to tell people now, after you say what you said? How I'm going even to come online after such a challenge? That's it. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Should I call a friend? Do you think that will help? You know what? I'm going to join the Democratic Party so I can meet with Joe Biden and he will tell me, explain to me how to answer it by saying, you know the thing? And that will get them busted because, okay, what the heck? How in the world we can refute this? You know the thing? The thing, you know, the thing who created the thing, you know, we are all belong to, you know, one thing and, you know, the thing. So when the thing come down, the thing... What is the problem? What is the problem? You know the thing. If you answer, I will give you the ring. The ring of salmon controlling women, and they will be lining up. What do you think? You know, you know, you know, you know the thing. So listen to this. Our Lord Allah, the blessed, the exalted. Is that the exalted or exactly? You see, I'm because I'm confused from now about the word exalted. Let me make it bigger because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having. After I heard this guy too many times saying exactly, I'm rather really confused about exact. Exactly, did oh, this is not exactly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was excited because I thought this is exactly okay. Descend every night to the lowest hip. Like, what man, you're going so down. Allah, stop, use the break to the lowest heaven. Stop. I'm so glad that Allah was able to stop there because if he keep going, keep going, keep going, he might fail in the swimming pool of Trump. Exactly. So he said, what is the problem with it? What is the problem? Well, Abdul, we have a problem. Actually, he's, 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 uh, he's, uh, he's online and he is typing now. Look, he is typing. I don't know why he is not answering me. See? I don't know why he's not answering Listen to the message I sent. Ah, oh, he sent me a message. Why, why you don't call me? Listen to the message. I don't open files in Skype. It doesn't matter. Even if it's an audio. Come on, call me. Let me talk to you. Hmm. Okay, he will not answer anyway. <clears throat> so listen carefully. Don't the Muslim they say God cannot go inside his creation and this is why they refuse that Jesus is God because he is inside the flesh of a man and then we find that their God is inside his creation because when Allah he move from heaven number a to heaven number seven and vice versa he is inside his creation and that destroy all your stupid belief and all the excuse of not believing that you can be God still you can be inside the creation oh sorry I'm wrong about this guy this guy is he left Islam already I got you wrong my friend sorry I apologize you know I thought so he's saying you already spanked me and made me leave Islam <laughs> 
God bless you, brother. Sorry, I apologize. Because, you know, I do not know. I mean, there's tens of thousands leave Islam in Skype with me, and I do not know who is talking to me. I don't track. It's hard to remember. So he's saying I already left Islam. So he like, maybe he's trying to, uh, maybe somebody ask him a question or something. I'm not sure. All right. It's my, I apologize. I thought you are a Muslim. So look, already he left Islam. I made him leave Islam. So listen carefully now. As long as Allah he go inside his creation, the word Akbar does not fit. Allah Akbar mean Allah bigger, not greater. Like I heard once uh, David Wood saying that Allah Akbar mean God is great, which is not true. This is absolutely false. But I don't blame him. He don't speak Arabic. As he not, he's not an Arab. He speak based on his knowledge, which is limited. So Allah Akbar, Allah is bigger. The Quran says that the size of Allah, or Allah share at least, which shows samawati wal ard. It is in the size of the earth and the heaven. <clears throat> and this is in chapter 2, verse number 255. How big is that share of Allah? Is the same as size of the earth and the heaven. <clears throat> and to accomplish that, the earth and the heaven have to be in the same size. Because while you are saying the size of the earth and the heaven, if the earth is way smaller than the heaven, so the only understanding the earth is a flat and the sun and the sky in the top of it have equal size. So the share of Allah is equally exactly to the size of the earth and the heaven. So let us make a drawing here. You know, guys, you, you know that I'm very good in arts, right? I mean, I'm the best in art. Actually, uh, there is many of my arts, by the way, sold in many museums around the world. You know what I mean? Uh, but I don't know why, I mean, they don't put them for, you know, on display. I think because it's, it's a security reason. Because they're afraid the mafia, they will steal them. Because they are unique. Like Allah. So look what happened here. The size of Allah's chair. Let us draw something here. This is the earth. Uh, something wrong with my pen here. Those software, you, you spend money for them for nothing. Hold on. Okay. So, this is the earth. Look how beautiful this. I'm really over. I mean, who can do that? Save Allah. Be honest with me, guys. And then... There's a sky in the top of that earth based on the verse in the Quran. And this is sky is the same size of the earth. So we will draw a line in the top of the earth again because they are in the same size. And then Allah chair is in the same size. This is the chair of Allah. Look how beautiful. I'm really, I can't believe even I can do that. I mean... I don't like to speak about how good I am in drawing, but you know you have to admit. I mean, come on. You know, guys, give our video a like because of the art, uh, special art for you today. I mean, you are lucky. It's your lucky day and you're lucky. This is one time opportunity in your lifetime to see me drawing the chair of Allah. This is not any chair. I'm telling you, this is not just a chair. I'm going to charge you for that. It took me a lot of effort. You know, do you know how dirty the chair of Allah? Do you remember the video of uh, Mufti uh, Laith, Abu Laith? <clears throat> when he said Allah from his chair, he will ejaculate. What the heck? Allah will what? Will ejaculate. Maybe I should play the video here. Abu Laith. <clears throat> But I forgot the name of the of the video. So as long <coughs> there's some coffee stuck in my throat. Hold on. This is what happened to you when you speak against Allah. The Muslim they will say now, Allah he put the coffee in your throat. <coughs> you know.
know the coffee machine I bought it doesn't make the coffee so fine and you know I, I make it the Greek style so there's a lot of uh, not really fine coffee there so sometime you drink them <coughs> so the size of the chair of Allah is the same size of the heaven and earth okay so how Allah he come down every day if he is in the size of the chair he will not fit on the earth because both are in the same size so in order for Allah to be able to go down he have to be tiny this is Allah <coughs> in the best scenario <coughs> let me get more water hold on I found something better than the water. I ate a tomato. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so do you see how Allah's size is? So for Allah to come down every night, he has to be smaller than his creation. Because simply he is entering inside it. Is Allah part of his creation? The Muslim, they will say no. Is he, when he is in, is he contained? Obviously, yes. He is surrounded by his creation. He is smaller than it. And not only that, this story here, which is thank you, Muhammad, for saying it, proving that Allah is not capable of being God. Why? What is the purpose of Allah to come down here? so he can hear you praying and where he go to the lowest which means he's trying to get so close so he can hear us so he go to the lowest heaven and he do that every night and this is a proof that islam believe that the earth is a flat and we have only one time because if allah goes down every night well there's no way allah can go up to heaven again because there is night always somewhere. Correct? If Allah go down every night, that means the story is stupid. Because how Allah will go up again if the night is not over? So there is night always somewhere. Right now we have, it is daytime. Right now it's 12.05 p.m. In some place it's middle of the night. So right now, Allah, maybe he is uh, uh, down in India. He's not here. Okay. And now Allah will go up again to come back again after two hours. So what the Muslims saying to us and their prophets saying to us, Allah is a yo-yo. You know the yo-yo? <clears throat> you, you. Oh, this is not. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a rope, you know. And this is uh, the you, you, yo, yo. Allah is Mister Yo Yo. And by Muhammad saying what he said. He proved to us that Allah is not capable to hear the Muslims from his place because the whole purpose is to come down so they can hear them when they are praying. And he will say who is praying for me, who is etc. And as long as this is the limitation of Allah to receive reception, 
That's mean Allah, he have a very bad antenna made in China and they are not doing good. And maybe if he changed his phone, abrogated to Huawei, the new one, which is against America, supposedly, maybe he got better reception. But if it's maybe Samsung, I don't know if Samsung is good. But you know what? I heard that Apple phone is doing better. So maybe we can say, uh, okay, let us collect donation to Allah. <clears throat> so we can buy him a phone, have a better donation, so better, better sorry, reception, uh, six, uh, uh, why, why, why 5.6? And maybe we can even ask Apple to make it Y5.7. Not Y5, Y5. I mean, why, why, why wife? You know, why wife? Why wife is better internet, actually. Yeah, not why, not why mother in law, you know. Why, why five? Uh, why wife? You know, <clears throat> what is this? So, I'm very thankful. This is why you see people they are trying hard to run away from what Muhammad said, because Muhammad is a person he cannot keep his mouth shut, and the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. And this is the best about Muhammad, by the way. He do a lot of poo poo. So we as people who don't believe in Muhammad, we are so thankful for the manure of Muhammad. If not the manure of Muhammad exists, we will have a lot of difficulty. But with the manure of Muhammad, we are fertilizing every claim we make. The manure of Muhammad is the fertilizer and the best fertilizer ever. And this is why when a Muslim he call me, he says, I don't want fertilizer. What do you mean? I don't want the hadith of the Prophet. I don't believe in it. Suddenly, they don't want to believe in Muhammad's statement. It's an embarrassment. Exactly. However, we are so happy that Muhammad, he made too much fertilizer. For that will bring a lot of, uh, uh, sorry, my English is not good. I'm trying to find the word. I know the word exactly now. I'm learning. No, we cannot use the word exactly here. Yeah. So the fertilizer of Muhammad can provide us a lot of, uh, <clears throat> okay, give me a week, you know, I will find it. I will talk to Allah when he come tonight. You know, and the third night, third part of night. Look, and there's this guy, he is so good in timing. He's not like an Arab, you know. Like if you go in the Middle East, you speak to my cousin, he will say to you, I will be there after one hour. One hour means like one century. A Middle Eastern person, he borrowed money from you, he will say to you, I will pay you next week. Just give me the money. Please. And then you will not even see him for the coming 50 years. So Allah, brother, he will come every night at the third part of the night. <clears throat> Oh, we have Mr. Kosar. How are you, Kosar? He's saying descent does not mean literally. Let's see what Mr. Kosar is saying, guys. Thank you, Kosar, for your comment. I appreciate Muslim, you know, trying to say something useful. Uh, what happened? All right, so Mr. Kosar, he said, and let us put it on the screen. Descent is not meant literally, Allah can communicate with angels of the lowest heaven without being physically there like he did with Moses and when he spoke to Ibrahim. Prove it. First of all, can you prove to me that Allah did not descend when he spoke to Moses? Is it the Quran says that the tree spoke and says, I am Allah? Prove to me that he was not there. So you are making a fiction answer, have no base. And you're a prophet, he says he descend. He did not say his knowledge descend. He did not say his voice descend. He said he descend. So in order to save yourself from something silly, stupid, Muhammad, he said, now it is not literally. Prove it. 
This is always what Muslims do in order to save themselves from a very bad trouble. But you know what? I will go with you now. But I want to ask you, Mr. Kosar, was Allah in the earth ever? <clears throat> Guys, is the question clear? I know it's going to take time for him to receive it, to receive my voice. Was Allah in the earth ever? I'm waiting for Muslim answers. Any Muslim, feel free to answer. Was Allah on the earth? Huh. You see, but this is what you are saying. If Allah is bigger than the earth and the heaven, and then Allah, he come down, that is a contradiction, my friend. That is not proving the point. That's proving that Muhammad making a poo. Thank you very much. That's what you are saying. Muhammad always, he contradict himself. So if Allah bigger, look what you confirm now. You confirm that you Muslim believe in size of God. You don't believe in God. So his size is bigger than the earth and the heaven. But we ask you, where is Allah? You say in the heaven. So how his size is bigger than the heaven, but he is in the heaven. Is Allah in the heaven or outside the heaven? You are in trouble now. Because you just said, the size of Allah is bigger than the heaven and the earth. So how Allah is in the heaven? <coughs> Stupidity is amazing. But look what happened. Allah anyway, he was on earth before he go to heaven. Let us go to the Quran. Are you going to say now this metaphorically? He is not, the heaven is not even created yet. According to your Quran, Allah was in the earth and then he left himself up to the heaven. Read it. See the Muslim translation here is here. Moreover, he designed and comprehend the heaven. Okay, what where is where is the word stewa? It's gone. They could have cut off. So let us change the translation translation. Because the verse in Arabic says he went up to the heaven and he sat on the chair after he finished. Let us go to Big Tal. It is he who created for you all that on earth. And then he turned uh, uh, he to heaven. What what kind of translation? He turned he, 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 who, and he turned. Where it says turn? What turned? Like it was what? Like he turned his face? Do you see how they fabricate? And suddenly, by the way, if Allah is the one is talking, how Allah he say it is he who created for you? Shouldn't he say it is me? Mental. Let us see a different translation. He who is created for you all that in earth, then he stawa. He, he, he put the word in Arabic as it is, but he wrote in English. And between two brackets, he rose over. Do you see it? Toward the heaven. So where Allah was? In the earth. At that moment, actually, there's no heaven. Go to Ibn Kathir, he will say to you that the heaven was a smoke and that the smoke was coming from the earth. There's no heaven. So Allah was down in the earth, based even in the Quran. Do you see it? He is not in the heaven, he is above the, uh, the throne. Uh, guys, Allah is not in the heaven, he is above the throne. <laughs> okay, let's just get just to show you how ignorant you are, Mr. Kusar. Where is your throne? Where is the throne of Allah? Is it true that the throne of Allah is above the water? My friend, you are no match to speak to someone like me. Not in any of you.
when Allah he created 50 years 50,000 years before his creation of the heaven and the earth his throne was upon the water do you see it and here you need to ask yourself how stupid the statement is because 50,000 year yet there's no earth there's no heaven but there is water and Allah in the top of it. It's a physical place. We have Mr. Jihad. We will take this call and maybe we, we are done for today. Yes, uh, Jihad. CP, CP I, I called you and you didn't answer. Well, you know, I, not always I uh, you know take call. Maybe I'm talking to somebody. Okay, yeah. So you told me I can come to the Bible last time when it was in the middle of the night. So you want to so just you let me make a couple points. You don't want to talk about. If you want, you can ask me about Islam. You don't want to talk about what we are talking about. But CP, I gave you so many answers before, and if you, you want to come you back, never, to you never it? gave me answer of anything. You, uh, always you say to me, I do not know about this. I do not know about I'm this. I'm the I'm the only one so far of the Muslims who gives good answers. Okay, let's see if you have a good answer. Just give this one. And we will go to the what you want to ask me about the Bible. You never gave me the chance, and last time you told me you would. No, no, I, I promise you this time, this this question. Allah, He created the earth and the heaven. Which one Allah created first? The mountains or the stars? Okay, this this one, I don't like to get into this one. See, this is what we have in. Okay. Th because thank you, Jihad. Thank you. Thank you. Don't waste my time. This is what you do each time you call me. This is your answer, the best answer. I am the only Muslim who give you an answer. He is the best Muslim who give you an answer. The second you ask him a question, the only answer he gave me once, you said that when they made the surgery to a prophet of Allah, they improved his IQ, which is a proof that Muhammad was a stupid. This is the only answer you gave me. People can watch the videos and people die laughing. Christian Prince, I am the only one who give you an answer. The second I give you a question, you said, I do not know what the question is. Don't waste my time. And anyway, we are here not to talk about the Bible. Why the Muslims, they could always run to the Bible? Because they are desperate. See, my topic here is the Quran and Islam. If I open a channel that says Bible debate, we will debate about the Bible. This is what we do here. You want to debate the Bible? There is a person, his name is Sam Shamoon. He loved to do that. Go to him. But in order to change the topic and to take the heat from above and underneath of Allah, they love to change the topic. What kind of God you don't remember? Which one he created first? The mountains or the stars? One chapter he says mountain, one chapter says the stars. So don't waste my time, my friend. But here you see that Allah, before he created the earth and the heaven, 50,000 years before that, he was upon the water. Which water? Okay, Abdul, did you just did you know what you just said, guys? Didn't this guy he just say that Allah is not in the heaven; He is above the heaven? <laughs> and now look what he just said. Thank you for the new poopoo you gave us. We have a lot of manure for today. Above the water, Rasulullah said. The seventh heaven is the sea. Above the so, above the water, Rasulullah said, above the seventh heaven is a sea. So Allah is above the sea. Allah floating on the sea. So he is contained in his creation. Because as long as you say above the sea. And you agree that his throne is on the water, not above the water. On the water. Read it in Arabic. So Allah's throne is a floating on 
the water. And that is something you can find in the old the Greek mythology. That gods, they have a boat, and their boat is above a sea. Same time, how there is no creation yet, yet there is water. Based on this, there was water before Allah created anything. So who is the one who created that water? And why Allah is floating above the water? And not only that, there's different hadith says that above him water and underneath of him there's water. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, look at this one. This one here is there a little bit. Let us see this one. That this one will do the job. I said, Allah Messenger, where are where was our Lord before He created His creation? He said He was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air and water. Do you see it, Abdul? So when you say he is not inside, you are just fooling yourself. How you can refute this one now? Hey, make a poo-poo. Go ahead. Go ahead, make a poo-poo. Pour something. Above him air, underneath him air and water. <clears throat> Do you see it? I mean, you cannot make a poo-poo bigger than this. Muhammad, he got you busted. He have like a 10,000 manure, tons of manures. He dump it on you now. What is above him? Air. What underneath of him? Air and water. Who said this poo, poo Prophet Muhammad. Is that a hadith hadith? No. It is good. Hassan means good. This is one of the names of the supposed grands, grandsons of Muhammad. Hassan. The Shia, they worship him. Good. So above him water, underneath of him is water, so Allah is contained and surrounded by air and water. So all your attempt was a big failure. Right? <clears throat> Any Muslim he have a better, you want to try something better? Anyone? And this will destroy all the madness this religion has about Allah it cannot be inside his creation. Allah is not in this earth. Allah is bigger than the earth and the heaven. Allah, blah, 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 blah. And here we go. We find that their prophet, he have, who is the one who have a better understanding of Islam? Abdur in YouTube or the founder of Islam, Muhammad. The only way for those Abduls to survive the Pupu of Muhammad is to deny his Pupu. And this is what we see every day. All right. Uh, okay, I think we have a good time today. We don't want to stay another eight hours today. My voice is already, you know, I mean, thank God. I mean, I can speak for many hours as you know, uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to hurt my throat. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much for being here. I'm very happy to our friend, pray to our friend, the one who called us. We thought he is a Muslim and turned to be here of Islam. We are happy that he is watching my videos now and we salute him and his lady, his wife and his children. We pray for them. We pray for the salvation of more of his family. Uh, we pray that more Muslims, they will see our videos and they will see that because we love them, we are here, not because we hate them. We will not hate the Muslims, even though we receive a lot of violence against us. Bloodshed, killing, all kinds of crimes. Still, we believe that's because the devil divide them into rocks. And he try, try to use them to be rocks to throw at us. So they are victims of the devil and the devil trying to make us victims of them so we will hate them. So we should not hate them. We should fight the devil so he cannot use them as rocks. The father of all lies is Satan.
the Lord, he said. And obviously, Muhammad is a person possessed with the devil. Actually, there's a Muslim, he made a comment. He says, can you say to me, read for me, that Jesus, he ordered the demon to go in the pig? Ha, 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 ha. If you see my answer there, I said, well, that's wonderful. While Jesus, he can command the devil and the demon. Your prophet, he was commanded, and he is commanded until he die by the devil. Do you see the difference? Actually, I'm going to make a title about this. While Jesus, he command the devil and cast the devil out. And not only that, even he gave the, his disciple the ability to cast the devil out. Muhammad himself was commanded by the devil. Not only he cannot cast the devil away, he himself is under the control of the devil. Are you going to say to me, I don't accept this hadith? This is very authentic. The devil, the companion, they said to him, do you have a devil with you? He said, yes, but Allah helped me against him. So I am safe from his hand. And he does not command me, but for good. Do you see it? So my friend, when you posted the verse in the Bible that Jesus command the demon, the evil spirit, out of the body and right away, even they jump inside the pigs and they jump from the cliff. This is how much they are scared of the power of Christ. Jesus, he command, he cast, he destroyed the devil. Muhammad, he received command from the devil. So how you fool you? You follow the fool Muhammad, who himself cannot even protect himself from the devil, and he is receiving command from the devil, and then he claim that the devil command is given to him is good. Like what? Each is it chips, Muhammad? Is that, is that the good command of the devil? Muhammad he received command from whom? From God or from the devil? The story in front of you. From the devil. And he claimed that this devil is good devil. That Satan is a ghost. Not a true shaitan, not Iblis, that's stupid, my friend, my friend. Shaitan is a shaitan, you idiot. Shaitan is a shaitan. Actually, Allah, he sent, and this is a proof of Muhammad, again, to be a false prophet. Allah, he sent an enemy to every prophet, shaitan, and many shaitan. So how shaitan, he, he sent him to be, and, and, you know, his enemy. And then Allah, he helped him against the shaitan, when Allah is the one who hired the shaitan. Stupidity is amazing. What happened to this website? It's not. No, here we go. Chapter 6, verse number 112. And we appointed, we have appointed to every prophet enemies, shayateen. So, how Allah is the one who appoint the shaitan and then Allah he help him against the shaitan? Is that a joke? And how the shaitan is an enemy? And then this enemy commanding the prophet. Do you see the stupidity, my friend? Uh, Muhammad Qasim, my friend, uh, I'm, I'm done for today. Maybe tomorrow if we go live on air, you know, don't be offended. I just told people it's time to go for me to go. Before even you text me, I just saw your text. You said, uh... But you are welcome to call me, God is willing, if we go live on air, if we stay alive. I will be happy to have you calling me, and all the Muslims are welcome to call. As you know, we don't choose who call us, but all of you are funny, and you do not know what are you talking about. And the most funny thing about Muslims, uh, suddenly they are so expert in the Bible, but they know nothing about the religion. Muhammad said, when every human is being a ghost, a, 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 a cursor, don't come here again. You Muslim don't believe in ghost like that. You're stupid. Even the Holy Ghost in your religion, I just block you, by the way, because I don't want, uh, I think you are not even a Muslim. You're just, just saying stupid things. Muslim don't believe in ghost. Even the Holy Ghost is not a ghost. He is an angel, according to Muslims. So everybody have a ghost, a ghost. A... But genie is not a ghost, idiot. Genie is a physical being, 
He have a penis. He can have sex with Muslim women. He can make them even have children from him. You are an idiot. Muslims don't believe in demon. Don't believe in ghost. Some Christian, even Christians, because they are ignorant about Islam, they think that demon is the same as genie. They are not. Genie are creatures who they have a physical body, but still they can. They are able or capable of being invisible. And the word genie is coming from the fantasy stories, fiction stories, like genie in the ball. Those are true story. I mean, exist before Islam. And Muhammad, he, when I say true story, doesn't mean it's the true. I'm saying it is true, a true story. It exists before Islam to be a story. And Muhammad, he just adopt a fiction about there's a creature who have a tail, and he sleep with your wife, he eat your food. There is a not long time ago, actually, I forgot which year, where a Saudi family, they went to the judge in Saudi Arabia, the Sharia court, and they sue the genie who live in their house. Let me see if I can find the, new, the news. What this genie? He ate their food. They wake up in the morning, they wake up in the morning and they find that the genie, he ate the food in their refrigerator. Actually, this is, was a while ago. This is 2009. Saudi family sues the genie. Can you believe it? So the genie is not a creature who is a spirit. He is not a demon. Those, they eat. Even your prophet in the hadith, he says they eat. Each time they eat from the bones, Allah, he put meat on it he forbid the muslims from uh, using bones to clean their ass why because this is the food of the genie so you are just an idiot who say things that, you know you don't know what you're talking about so i'm going to go to the court now because i need to sue the genie who is eating my food i made salad yesterday i woke up in the morning i can't find the salad so obviously those, you know, those family, they have somebody in their house who's eating at night. And maybe they are cheap. Maybe the parents are so cheap. They don't want their kids to eat. You know, actually in the Middle East, there's a lot of people, they put a lock over the refrigerator. You believe it? They like it, you know? So they like the refrigerator. So the kids will not have access all the time to the food in there. Especially, you know, family who they are either so poor or so cheap. Uh... So somebody is taking the food, so we have to sue him. Uh, by the way, did they arrest him? I hope the problem of this family is solved. Really, I really like it. I like to see this genie arrested. And actually, if you search for videos on YouTube about genies, you will find tens of thousands of videos made by Muslims. All of it, it's, it's, a, it's a fabrication videos, Photoshop. So always put in your mind, Muslims don't believe in ghosts. Even the word Holy Ghost in the Quran, for them is an angel, it is not really a ghost. The Holy Ghost word is Muhammad a thief. He copied the word, he copied the sentence, he copied the name. But obviously, he just get himself busted again. Because the second you say, it is holy, it is ghost, it cannot be angel then. Because the Quran make it so clear that even angels in the Quran, they are made of light and light is a physical, is a physique. If that light is not a physique, how he created that light? It's a created light, not special light. And if the angel is not a physical, how he come to Muhammad and he squeeze him three times? So how he is a spirit? So Muhammad is a very confused, false man, copies stories and names and words from the Bible, from the Torah, from other religion. He put them all in one book and he called it the funny, stupid, dummy Quran. I hope you guys, you enjoy your time today. Don't forget to give it a like or dislike. And if you don't mind, please leave a comment because comments is very important. Uh, so to get people to think and not comment about me saying thank you. I see a lot of people saying thank you. I'm not here to say to me thank you. 
I'm here, I want people to learn. I want people to be active. I want to hear you or see you thinking about what you heard. Say something about it. Stop saying, thank you, Christian Prince. Don't thank me. I'm not here to be praised by anyone. For I did nothing except my duty. And my duty is to serve my Lord. All thanks is to the Lord, for he provides us with knowledge, with the truth, and with the ability, so we can share it with you. The Lord is the one we think we think you know, we think about what he did to us, and then we thank him for what he done to us. Whatever we do is nothing compared to what he did to us. We praise one person. No Christian prince, no prophet, no even disciple, nobody. We praise only one name. His name is the Messiah. There's no name better than his name. And there's no one is holy more, him, more than his holiness. He was the walking, and he is the walking, talking, living word of God in this earth. So we are thankful for the Messiah, for he came for us. So a foolish man like Muhammad and a foolish teachers in India, Hindus, Buddhas, they cannot fool us. Nobody is equal to the Lord. And the Lord, he said, that everything is not planted by him is going to be pulled out, is going to be routed out. And this is exactly what we did today. We are routing out the book of the devil exposing it thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all we pray for your family for your health for your wealth pray for the muslims pray for the person who does decide to leave islam today we heard him and his wife and his family so they can be kept in, in you know in your prayer remember all those who need the poor uh, people who lost their jobs people who need your help if you can support them support them uh, you know talk is cheap action is what is needed the lord he says from their fruits you shall know them so my friend show the world your fruits show the world your fruit help people around you if you know somebody is old help the old visit them even by visiting them you are doing good you are doing great people who left alone they have no friends no family speak to them you will give a joy to their life they are left alone lonely be a human being again with the Christ. Christ is the only one who brings us to our humanity and make us a human again. When the atheist and other religion trying to make us a bunch of animals, killing each other, drinking the blood of each other, taking advantage of each other. With the Christ, we are people of mercy, who he said, love your enemy, and no one ever said such a thing. Love your enemy. That is the Bible. That is the Lord. That is God. Love is the fingerprint of God, which does not exist in Islam, which does not exist in atheism, which does not exist in Hinduism, which does not exist in the Buddhism. All of them, they focus in the stomach, in the sex, in the money, and in the yoga, which is nothing but a self-worship. With the Messiah, you don't focus on yourself, you focus on others, because you believe in love, and love can do miracle. That is Jesus. He is a miracle. Not only he can do miracle. See you. God bless you.